Hi, today's session is regarding SQL Server Query Result Sets. So today we will see in how many formats the SQL Server Query Results will be provided or we can say how many types of the result sets available in SQL Server. Okay, so let's get started. For sample purpose, I have used the Adventure Work 2014. Here I have chosen this table. You will get the results in grid format here you can see the results will be populated and it is in tabular format or we can say it is in grid format okay so this is the one of the uh, result set type and this is the default one if you want to see how many types of the result set available so you need to go to the query in menu option there is a query and in query you need to go to the result two so we have been provided three main types of result sets results to text results to grid and results to file here if you see thoroughly it has been selected results to grid that is why we are getting the results of the query which we have executed just in grid format let's select the results to text and fire the same query again see we got the results in text format here we can see here this is the column name and these are the values which is available in text format now select the third option which is results to file suppose if you want to uh, extract or if you want to export the results in a particular file and you want to store that file in your system to be reviewed later on so in that case you can use this results to file option so let me select this and let me go ahead and execute this query again once you execute it will be asked for uh, for a file in which you want to uh, in which you want to export the results to so let me select the location as a desktop and sample so here we got a nice name sample result set and it is being uh, stored in the format uh, in the with an extension dot rpt so let me save as so now it's time to check the file here see sample result set file is there me cut and paste in my personal folder now this here you can see this is the file this is uh, stored in our rpt file if you want to see the result you can open it with within the notepad here you can see let me explain the file for you so you can see here is the results but what if you want to export this results into an excel file because you need to share this uh, data to your stakeholders or to your manager supervisor in your or you want to uh, mail uh, to somebody this result set in that case you cannot send it into a notepad which is not very good practice so you need to convert it into the excel so in that case what you can do just open a blank excel file i'll tell you how to export this results just open a blank excel file go to the file option and open this file i have stored this file in this folder let me see the path okay
okay it is giving me only folder and excel as files and i want to open so we'll do one thing just go here and open it with excel sorry we need to open it with excel right click on it choose another app we have opened an excel file let me open this yeah here we go so what you need to do you need to open a blank excel file and then locate your file uh, rpt file which uh, in which you have stored your uh, query results and open it so you, what you are trying to do, you are trying to open an RPT extension file in Excel. For that, this text import wizard will be opened to select. So you need, you do not need to do anything. You just click the next button here, next, and then finish. See, the complete results, uh, complete results and uh, results set of the SQL uh, Server query will be populated in Excel file. Now you can save this file and uh, it, uh, and use uh, later on or you can mail to your supervisor, you can mail to anybody or friends uh, this data. So this is a uh, quick way to con export your uh, SQL Server result set into the Excel, uh, into the Excel format. Hope you uh, like the video. Thank you very much.